As infotainment systems have become standard equipment in new cars, they're quickly becoming one of the deciding factors when buying a vehicle. Sometimes they have a mind of their own. <laughs> Consumer Reports just surveyed nearly 60,000 of its subscribers to see which systems are best liked and which are more trouble than they're worth. Here's Joanne Purton with more. Gone are the days of a simple radio in your car to keep you entertained. Automakers have been making infotainment systems more and more sophisticated with touch screens, Bluetooth technology. Call Sarah's cell phone. And most of the functionality you get with a smartphone. But some of these systems can be infuriatingly hard to use. Command not understood. Some systems require too many steps to do simple things. Others don't even have a basic volume knob and other systems can be hard to figure out or unreliable to respond. Infinity's new in-touch system is the worst, according to a Consumer Reports survey of 58,000 of its subscribers. Cadillac's Q system isn't much better. One survey respondent describes it as stupidly complex and unintuitive. And another said, this car really needs a co-pilot with an IT degree. Some infotainment systems do get it right. Chrysler's Uconnect 8.4 system with its big screen and easy-to-use interface has the happiest users in the Consumer Reports survey. You don't need the manual or an advanced programming degree, one commented. This sounds cheesy, but we love it, another gushed. Car owners with Hyundai's infotainment system are also pretty pleased. They especially like the Bluetooth system and the voice commands. Call Dave. Of course, when you buy a car, there's more to consider than just the infotainment system. You'll find top-performing infotainment system in several cars Consumer Reports recommends, including the Chevrolet Impala and Hyundai Sonata. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.